My mother was diagnosed with cancer in 2006. She had a lump on the inside of her upper thigh. She'd had it for a while, but she got busy, distracted, put it off. She thought she had time. You know how it is. You see yourself every day throughout the day. It's hard to notice the changes that occur in the body. My mom felt that lump every day from the first time it appeared, but the growth was slow, incremental, hard to notice the difference until too late. She began treatment, but she wasn't healthy, healthy enough to get regular treatments. She died in October of 2006, seven months later. My dad had said at the time, he thought she had more time. The prophets of Israel warned them that they needed to pay attention to notice what was happening, to make changes and do something about it. I'm sure they thought they had time. The prophet Ezekiel showed them a valley full of dry bones. They didn't know how sick they were until they saw their skeletons. That can be a frightful image. I remember seeing my mother after she had had a couple of treatments. The change in her was shocking. She was so sick. A valley of dry bones can be shocking. But Ezekiel meant for it to be hopeful. Can there be hope when death creates dry bones? Through Ezekiel, God said, I will breathe life into these dry bones. These bones will yet live. And isn't that what Jesus did for Lazarus, for Jairus' daughter, for the widow's son? Isn't that what God did for Jesus? You cannot have resurrection without death. I still wish my mother had gone to the doctor earlier. I'm sure Ezekiel was hoping that he would get the Israelites to act earlier. Resurrection is pretty spectacular, but don't we hope that we don't have to die before feeling the breath of God bringing life? That then is what is called a revival. And I believe it's time for a revival in the church. We're talking about it on Sunday. I hope you'll join me.